Hello again everyone from Tokyo, Japan and welcome back to Japan Vintage Camera. Uh, today we're going to be doing a how-to video. Uh, and today's video is going to be covering the Canon 7 and Canon P cameras. Uh, the first thing we're going to look at is how to fix a sticking or lagging shutter in the Canon 7 and uh, Canon P. And the second part of the video is going to discuss how to adjust the rangefinder in the Canon 7. So uh, the Canon 7 and Canon P uh, from this point down are the same camera. They have the same shutter mechanism, self timer and all that. They're only different on the top here. Uh, the Canon 7 has a, a more sophisticated viewfinder and light meter and the Canon P does not. I'll post uh, another video later on how to adjust the rangefinder on the Canon P. Uh, to do this work you need uh, some basic tools, nothing really fancy. Uh, first you need uh, a slotted screwdriver like this one or a little bit smaller. Uh, you need a pointed spanner or a pair of uh, tweezers with sharp points or a pair of needle nose pliers with sharp points. Another uh, useful thing to have is some uh, lighter fluid and a little bit of oil. So we're going to start uh, on this camera by fixing uh, the, a sticking shutter. Uh, the shutter on this uh, camera, as it happens, has already been fixed. It was stuck before, and I repaired it uh, before uh, putting it up for sale. So this one isn't sticking, but it was. Uh, and this is the most common problem uh, with these uh, cameras when the shutter isn't working. Maybe one in five of these that I come across has this problem. Uh, to fix it, the first thing we need to do is uh, flip the camera <clears throat> upside down. Uh, they're flat on the top, which makes it quite easy to set them down and work on. I always use a white or light colored towel or cloth to work on the camera. Uh, it prevents the camera from getting scratched and it also makes it easy to find any small parts that I might drop, which I, I do quite regularly. Uh, we start by putting the points of the spanner or tweezers or whichever tool you're going to use into the two holes on this uh, black lock nut and simply thread it out counterclockwise and set it aside. Now you have to unlatch the lock for the film door so make sure that you do that uh, before starting the work on the camera otherwise you can't get the bottom cover off as easily. Uh, remove the two slotted screws from the bottom and set them aside. Uh, sorry if uh, I'm working a little clumsily here. I have a kind of quirky tripod which is right in the middle of everything and I'm having to reach around the legs to do the work which makes it a little bit awkward. Once you have the two screws and the nut uh, taken off you have to lift the bottom cover off. Usually these lift off easily, sometimes they don't, they'll, they'll be stuck, so you have to pry them a little bit. So prying between the hinge and the cover with a screwdriver will usually get them loose enough to lift off with your fingers. Okay, uh, the bottom cover is off and on the bottom we can see the tripod socket. Uh, this big silver piece of metal is the return spring for the shutter button. We have an intermediary shaft here and here we have the mechanism for the uh, flash sink and on the right side here we have the uh, uh, tension adjusters for the shutter curtains. The main culprit behind the sticking shutter is this intermediary uh, gear here and what happens when the shutter is not, uh, it, when you're working the camera when the shutter is fired it should stop at the if you're looking at this position, the camera's upside down and the back is toward you. Uh, when you push the shutter button, uh, this uh, post or dowel should end up in the 6 o'clock position. Often they're going to be a little bit off to the side here, and when that happens, the trailing curtain is not closed all the way. This is a super common problem which is caused by lack of lubrication or dust contamination or whatever. Uh, these cannons use uh, foam seals around the film chamber and over the years these rot and they make this black rubber dust which circulates through the camera and causes things to jam up. Uh, to fix this problem <clears throat> uh, take your uh, lighter fluid and add just a few drops of lighter fluid uh, to the intermediary gear and uh, cycle the shutter usually one or two times 
uh, is enough to get the shutter working again. And to prevent it from sticking after the uh, lighter fluid is dried off, once it's dried off, uh, take your oil and add just a couple of drops uh, to the shaft where it goes through the uh, camera body. And that fixes the sticking shutter. It's quite simple. The uh, lagging uh, shutter curtain, lead shutter curtain, which causes the shutter not to open at the 1 1,000th speed, is fixed by uh, turning this uh, adjuster here. This one here, uh, closest to the back of the camera, closest to the film plane, is for the leading shutter curtain. Uh, for whatever reason, this one always loses tension over the years and it causes the 1 1,000th uh, shutter uh, speed to become less accurate or the shutter not to open altogether. Uh, you need a couple of tools uh, to do this. You can use two screwdrivers. I just use the other half to my uh, lens spanner and my screwdriver. Uh, in between the two tensioners, you have a locking screw and uh, two locking arms, which prevent the adjusters from turning. There's a screw in the center. You unscrew it slightly, and then I place the second screwdriver or other tool uh, against this gear here. The teeth turn only one way. It's a sawtooth gear. I push the lock out just a little bit, and then in the middle here you'll see a slot, uh, a slotted shaft in the middle of this uh, sawtooth gear. You place the tip of the screwdriver in there and you turn it slightly clockwise. Usually one eighth or one quarter of a turn is enough. And uh, once you have this uh, turned, uh, if you turn it, the entire, it will move and this uh, sawtooth gear will become a little bit loose. Once you've turned it about an eighth of a turn, tighten the sawtooth gear by turning it counterclockwise. Make sure to do this before removing the screwdriver because if you remove the screwdriver first, uh, the screw will spin freely and release all the tension from the shutter curtain and then you're going to have to tighten it up and adjust the shutter from scratch which uh, takes a little bit of skill and a little bit of practice to get done right but once you've done turned it about an eighth of a turn to a quarter of a turn push the sawtooth gear firmly counterclockwise you pull the locking uh, pawl or arm back against the sawtooth gear and then tighten the locking screw. And that's it. Uh, by doing this, uh, lubricating the intermediary shaft and adjusting the uh, lead shutter curtain, this will greatly improve the accuracy of all the shutter speeds in the camera, including the low shutter speeds. Uh, putting the camera back together is quite easy. Uh, just drop the cover back into place. Uh, these can be quite difficult to get off, the aluminum lock nut, and sometimes the screws as well. If it's a little bit tight, uh, a tiny bit of penetrating oil uh, in there, let it sit for a few hours so it can uh, penetrate and get everything loosened up, and it'll come off much more easily. And, of course, putting in the screws is pretty basic, unless you're working under like a awkward camera tripod like I am right now. I've been working on uh, the Canon 7 rangefinders for a long time. I really like them because they're, for one thing, like, uh, like from this example, you can see that they're not very difficult to work on. All right. And from the, this point on, uh, this applies only to the Canon 7, not the Canon P, because we're going to be working on the top half of the camera, adjusting the rangefinder. Uh, to adjust the rangefinder, of course, you need a lens uh, mounted to the camera. Most Canon lenses have an infinity lock. I lock the lens so it's at infinity and won't turn. And on the front of the camera here, we have uh, a cap screw. Uh, we remove this screw by turning it to the left. And underneath, uh, inside this hole, is the screw which adjusts the horizontal adjustment of the rangefinder. With the lens set to infinity and the cap screw removed, you take the small screwdriver 
and uh, you turn the small screw inside, left or right, just slightly until the horizontal uh, adjustment is correct. The vertical adjustment on these is more difficult. It's more difficult because uh, the cap screw design and its location make it a real pain. The final variation of the Canon 7, the Canon uh, 7SZ, moved uh, the adjust, adjustment cover from here next to the shutter speed dial to over here by the viewfinder window, which made adjusting the uh, uh, rangefinder much more convenient. But unfortunately, 99% uh, of Canon 7s have the adjustment here on this side. Uh, taking my uh, pointy spanner or needle nose pliers or uh, tweezers, I would turn this uh, counterclockwise and remove the cap and put it next to the other uh, cap here. And here we have the hole for adjusting the uh, vertical adjustment. Unfortunately, the screw for the vertical adjustment isn't straight down underneath in the middle of this hole. It's located a little slightly backward and back to the side. And there's kind of a lever which covers it partially. If you look down inside with, with a very small screwdriver, you can move it around and you can see the screw. Uh, I do it now pretty much by touch. I reach in, I push it forward just a little bit, and then I can feel when the screwdriver is engaged in the uh, end of the screw. I turn it left or right slightly until the vertical adjustment is correct. Sometimes changing the vertical adjustment will affect the horizontal adjustment and vice versa. So sometimes you'll have to play with both a couple of times until you get the uh, complete adjustment done correctly. But uh, uh, it's really not all that hard to do. Uh, once you have everything adjusted, uh, replace the cap screws. This, the, the front one, the slotted one, and the one with the two pins. I'm not going to try to put uh, this one in right now because this isn't the tool I normally use for it and this is kind of, it rubs against the, the uh, shutter speed dial, so I'll, I'll put those in after the video. But um, uh, it's only taken me a few minutes to uh, fix the sticking shutter, to adjust the uh, lagging shutter, and to adjust the range finder. Uh, and once again, it only requires a few basic tools. Anyway, uh, in a future video, I'll show how to fix the dragging slow uh, uh, shutter speeds or stuck slow shutter speeds. Uh, that uh, repair is long enough that it will require another video, but uh, fortunately it doesn't require any specialized tools and pretty much anyone who can hold a screwdriver can do it, so I'll post that uh, sometime in the near future. Anyway, uh, that's my video for today, how to uh, fix the sticking shutter, the lagging shutter, and adjust the rangefinder on a Canon 7 camera. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video and please check back for more videos in the future.